This right here is the Cos KC75 and I have used them for over 2 years already as a full time video editor. It has been my daily driver for work and also for personal use cases like gaming, streaming movies and music. Going for around $30 or less if they're sale, these Cos headphones have earned its reputation for offering sound that no one else would expect for something so cheap. When you hold it on your hands though, you might think it's just some flimsy plastic that was made for a toddler or a kid. However, looks can be deceiving. While I do agree that the build quality can be a little bit better, especially with the cables, however once you wear it, it feels like nothing at all. For some people though, it may or may not pinch your ears, but it's overall more bearable compared to normal size headphones that give your head a dent after using it for a while. I do have third party pads installed on mine and these are just some cheap foams I ordered online. Just make sure though that the pads are not too big or too thick since that may introduce more pinching to your ear. If you're someone who moves a lot on your desk, the cables do get tangled from time to time but they are light enough to not feel any tension when you're just sitting still or moving slowly. Overall, for someone who lives in a country with humid and hot weather, I can wear these headphones for hours and still feel like I'm wearing nothing. Now for its sound, I think Reneka, a well-known audiophile YouTuber, best describes it with quote, non-existent sub bass and poor resolution, but it's so well-tuned you may not even care. And that sentence basically summarized my whole experience for the Cos KSC 75. It is just so well-tuned that it basically negates all the bad aspects of the headphones. Now for more important occasions, I do have this Kiwi Orchestra Lite IEM and the classic HD600 to get the job done. But for my daily use cases, the Cos KSC75 is still my favorite. I have used it for a long time now that I became familiar with its flaws that I can sometimes accommodate my sound decisions when mixing and mastering. Though a quality that may turn people off is its open sound design. Yes, the sound does bleed and you will hear background noise. If you have an uncontrolled environment and want to have some privacy, the Cos headphones might not be for that job. Another one that I don't really mind is aesthetic. You may or may not look stupid wearing this on your ears unless you're trying for a 2000s fashion look or something. But if you also don't mind that, well... I can't think of any more reasons not to buy the Cos KC75. It's honestly a headphone you can rely on, both for comfort and sound. A great daily driver and just a bang for your buck. If you're looking for a gift, this actually might be just the perfect choice. If you want to take it an extra mile though, consider also checking, modding, or buying a modded version of this that has detachable cables. There's some guide out there but this is the route I still haven't experienced so I can't say much about it. And lastly, if you are still not convinced, don't just take my word for it. I highly recommend reading other people's personal experience for these headphones as you'll find a lot of positive reviews online. That's all for me and peace.